Hello, this is going to be a quick video on how to automate the Traincraft distillation towers with Buildcraft, a little bit of um, applied energistics, and some uh, liquid acts from thermal expansion. You will need, well, some levers if you want to, obviously charcoal or coal, and sugar canes or uh, petroleum. Then MEK bolts for the um, applied energistics part, some network stuff, an interface, two precision export buses, a tank, some liquiducts, obviously distillation towers, or target gates, some facades if you want to cover it up, and obviously some build craft pipes, and a crash and hammer, or any build craft and thermal expansion branch that you can use. Um, yeah, to start this, I'm just going to use this part. Okay, first off, we're just going to start with um, some liquid acts. Doesn't really matter how many you do. That'd be a bit too much. Takes a bit. Uh, yeah, why not one of five? Hmm. The place of use on top, on top, and then you set it to output. Yeah, well, um, yeah, the output side of uh, distills, if you want to export from it, is the back, and on the input is from the top, and you should use the insertion pipes for that, which I forgot. And you just put them on top of here, but we're going to do that later, because if you want to make this nicely, you have some iron pipes here, and stone pipe, because why not? and set it to the right direction, facing um, okay and in this direction okay Okay, then you're going to require some pipe plugs for this is just for aesthetical, well, functional too, purposes. You can cover that up. And then you're going to use these ones and put them here. Although, first need. Use these guys. Um. Okay. Looks like that doesn't work bad. Fine. Just need to have something where it works stuff. It doesn't connect to that because then it would destroy everything. <laughs> okay, no. This is just for the um, for the applied in logistics part. Okay. 
And then you need to apply to logistics, cable, and export bus. Which I'm just going to put it here. Because why not? Pipes and output can just go into an interface. And then you need some sugarcane and some charcoal for the. Just gonna set the service, it doesn't fire yet. Um, Ah, uh, right. One has to put iron pipes here. Because build craft. And now, you're gonna have some sandstone. And this requires a floor. The tank, of course. And the floor is just, uh, uh for the levers, so you can put the levers in front of them to disable pumping out of them in case you don't need as much diesel as you as they produce because it uh, uses a lot of charcoal if it just fires up once and burns one sugar cane with it and then the rest of the charcoal just well, goes to waste. And then you're gonna need to watch that you get the charcoal active first. Because the first slot and first goes into the bottom slot in the inventory. So you can see now it's getting a mix of sugar canes and charcoal. And it will go. Okay. Looks like the sugar cane had to be first. <laughs> Derp. So you will want sugar cane first. So this has already produced one bucket of diesel and it's producing one per sugar cane. So that's quite a lot. And for the plastic that gets produced too, you want the, uh, that's what the wooden pipes are for. I'm going to use our target gates which uh, which will produce which will extract the items when they appear in the inventory. You could place redstone engines but it's easier to use our target gates because we go right on the pipe and we can detect if, uh, if there's something in the inventory. It doesn't really matter if you just pump it first and there's something in it or if you pump all the time but just for the sake of it. Just, just because. So of course if you really want it 
to make it really compact. Take this away and was charcoal. And place it here. And place it here. It's gonna go here. And it will go back into the AE system through the interface as well as the plastic desk. And so because you can cover this up nicely. And boom. Almost perfect, except for the stupid inventory tweaks rendering bugs on the facades. Now if you flip the lever, it will, the liquid acts will start pumping the diesel out and into his tank. So you can see it's empty now, it's getting pumped out. Will this fill up? If the tank is full it will, it will stop producing diesel and which means it will stop using charcoal and sugar canes. So you can run you can run nine high pressure boilers on the biggest size, that's thirty six uh, that means nine thirty six HP boilers on one distill so yeah you can pretty much just keep one running unless you want to produce a lot of diesel and fill or, or fill a tank up quickly to because at the start but uh, the boilers require a lot more so you can but when they're hot you can use one distill to run them all Yeah, that's about it. Thanks for watching.